ready start the appellant comma husband of the deceased comma is aggrieved by his conviction under section 302 of the indian penal code affirmed by the high court full stop there is no eye witness and the case rests only on circumstantial evidence full stop para the deceased was married to the appellant approximately 6 to 7 years back full stop both of them were living along alone in the house with their minor child full stop on 14/10/1994 comma late in the evening comma the family members of the deceased comma who resided about 340 kilometers away comma received a telephone call that their daughter had died full stop they came the next morning at 6 am and found the body of the deceased in the middle room of the house comma lying on the ground covered with a white sheet full stop the first information report was lodged at about 7 am comma the inquest report was prepared same day as also the post mortem was done in the afternoon full stop the police after completing investigation submitted charge sheet under section 306 and 498a ipc full stop during the course of the trial comma considering the nature of evidence that emerged comma the sessions judge also added section 302 ipc in the charges full stop the sessions judge held the charge under section 302 to be established as the deceased had been strangulated to death full stop the high court in appeal opined that the deceased had been hanged to death full stop both the courts have unanimously held that the deceased did not commit suicide but that it was a homicidal death full stop para learned senior counsel sri vinay appearing for the appellant comma submitted that the deceased had committed suicide full stop the conviction of the appellant under section 302 ipc was not justified full stop the appellant has been acquitted of the charge under section 498a full stop it was impossible for the appellant to have alone forcibly hanged the deceased from a height of 11 feet full stop the fact that the body was found lying on the ground in the house comma does not detract from the appellant's defense that she was brought down from the noose after she committed suicide and the body laid on the ground full stop if the appellant had strangulated the deceased comma nothing prevented him from cancelling the dead body or criminating her in the night itself full stop his conduct is not conducive of his guilt full stop para the mere fact that the deceased died in unnatural circumstances inside the matrimonial home cannot by itself be sufficient to shift the onus on the appellant under section 106 of the indian evident act 1872 here in after called as the act full stop the onus first line lies on the prosecution to establish a prima facie case of a homicidal death ruling out all possibilities of a suicide full stop reliance was placed on sambhunath mehra versus the state of ajmer 
1956 SCR 199, Sawal Das vs. State of Bihar 1974 4 SCC 193 and Jose vs. The Sub Inspector of Police Koilendi and others 2016 10 SCC 519 Full Stop Para Siri Sunil Fernandez Learned Additional Advocate General appearing on behalf of the respondent state, comma, submitted that all the circumstances in the case inevitably point towards the guilt of the appellant, full stop para. I am glad that the government has taken a number of initiatives to systematically address the challenges faced by the persons with disabilities, full stop. The government amended the rights of persons with disabilities act in 2016, full stop. This has created a very progressive right-based framework for the welfare of our differently abled brothers and sisters, full stop para. The quota of reservation for persons with disabilities has been increased from 3% to 4% in government jobs and 3% to 5% in higher education institutions, full stop. Education is the key to empowerment of every person, including persons with disabilities, full stop. I strongly believe that there could be a special focus on inclusive schools and also special schools so that each disabled child gets good quality education, full stop. A number of non-governmental organizations have been playing a significant role in the rehabilitation of persons with disabilities, full stop. I am glad that the government is pertaining with civil society organizations, full stop para, creating accessible environment for persons with disabilities has been one of the priority areas for the government since inception of Accessible India campaign in 2015, full stop. Given the size of the existing infrastructure to be made accessible, I foresee that there is a need to develop collaborative efforts among all stakeholders for developing barrier-free environment for the persons with disabilities be it in the physical infra infrastructure or transportation or ICT ecosystem.